Hey everybody, it's True, Miss True Red Phone. How you doing? Hope everybody's great and well. Thanks for clicking on my video because you didn't have to, so it is appreciated. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and share me up. I'm not a secret to your friends to come see me. All right, y'all, I'm just doing a quick little, um, not a tutorial, but I'm just showing you guys how I take care of my plants. Um, this became a hobby over Rona, you know, since we've been at home working from home. So I do have about 15 plants in the house, ivies, uh, peace lilies. I just introduced two new plants. So let me show y'all my latest little plant I got. And she's been living for about a month now. Hey everybody say hi to Lola. Ain't she pretty y'all? I've had her about a month now. What is she? Uh, a, a, a broom, what is that? Broomleates, Broomleates. How to grow, needs medium light. Moderately moist. So it doesn't, this, this doesn't need much upkeep. Like I said, I've already had her a month and she's still looking good. And I don't have her in much light. I don't have to water her. Um, I do have three over here that I'm, I have two that I need to repot. Remember, I'm just getting into this whole plant thing. So this is, what type of plant are you? All right, here's another plant that I bought maybe two months ago. I need to repot her, but um, she's still hanging there in there pretty good. I can't pronounce that name, you guys. I got it for $5 at Walmart. Forget it, but I can't pronounce that name. But yeah, this is one. I do have a small tree in the front living room. Tropical plant. What is the name? What is your name? Oh, it just says tropical plant. Medium light. And I've had this one for about three or four months. And it's still doing pretty good. Good. They sitting in the windowsill, these smaller ones. My ivies are growing great. My ivies, um, their vines are starting to come down, so I'm loving that. My mama always had ivies, y'all. So this is what I use again to water my plants. I just pump it. Let's see if we can get a good angle. That light. That's because I have went so many windows, y'all, in this house. So I just pump it and I take it and put it up here since I can't reach it. And just spray that bad boy. And I just go around and make sure I'm getting all the, the dirt moist. Y'all, whenever I start a hobby, I, I become kind of OCD addicted to the situation. It can meaning that I get carried away. Um, Amazon, these hangings, I forgot what they call y'all, the little hanging nets for the plants. I got off of Amazon, a three pack for probably $13, you know, everything comes from Amazon. And these are, again, my ivies up here, they are growing so good, and they don't take much, much care. You don't need to do much to them, I love that. Good for those. I also want to cut out some of. I'm sorry. I want to cut out some of the some of this dead foliage or y'all. I think you know I got a lot of yellow leaves. 
I know I can leave them, but I feel like I should cut them out. So I usually cut them out from watering the plants too much. I think that happened when I repotted the soil, repotted them into new, um, new pots. And I had some huge lilies, you guys, that I just went ahead and divided into two. And I think it didn't like that. I should have just put it all into one huge pot. I learned my lesson. Now you live, you learn, you know. I'm really just getting into this. So if you have any tips for you, girl, I am open to hear them because I'm learning. I'm surprised that I still have these plants. I've had them again for a long time now. I want to say I've had them since March is when it started. So I'm just taking out the, some, some of the dried up leaves. Um, and it is so crazy how you can tell if, you know, how plants, you can see that they're alive. Like, if it's too cold in the house, they're, they will droop. If it's too hot, they'll droop. If it's just perfect and the soil is wet, they stand up so pretty. That is so crazy. That's why it's good to talk to your plants. They are alive. See, this one is droopy, but later on, since I'm watering them, they'll be standing up again. And my little tools, my little, uh, My little toolkit for my plants. This little bag, it's got a little shovel in it for um, repotting. I could get the full set, but I just thought it was cute. I got it off of Amazon, it was really cheap. My little, um, whatever you call this. I know it's not a hoe, but uh, you know, to break up my dirt. Got that off Amazon. Same day Amazon. Yeah. So I'm just cleaning up some of these dead leaves up in here. I bought a couple of new big old pots. I think I bought about four pots off of Amazon. These are, again, my peace lilies. They are really temperamental, you guys. Like, I had a, a girlfriend come over the other day and she said she had some peace lilies and they are not doing well. I said, is it cold in your house? They keep it freezing in my house. Without me knowing, they touch the air conditioner and it really affects my plants and it really hurts my feelings. But she said it keep, she keeps her apartment pretty cold so if you have some peace lilies you might want to check your temperature try to keep it at like 74 73 ish if you love your plants um keep water your plants every three four days depending on how moist your um peace lilies the dirt is i keep them right here in this light and overall if they don't touch that thermostat, these plants can thrive. My IVs do good no matter what the temperature is. So if you're just looking for something easy and, and something that's you know not a challenge, get you some get you some IVs. You see how long my um let's see if you can see without the light messing up. There go my um, ivies. Look how long my vines are getting. I can't wait till I can like connect them to maybe the curtain rod or, you know, they are they are going so good. And they're easy to. Those are easy to repot. They are not that temperamental. 
So if you're looking for you some easy plants to work with, get you some ivies. I, you can get them at Kroger. I went to Walmart to get some plants, but Walmart was so horrible. So go to like Lowe's, um, Home Depot, or um, any nursery. I would be in heaven if I can get to a nursery, but right now, it's a one-stop shop because I don't want to be around any people unnecessarily. But yeah, I just wanted to come on real quick. I'm trying to get back into my videos and um, let you guys know how I care for my little plants. Now I'm going to need to get these cheering down here so they can go ahead and do their chores. And I can log back on to work. Thanks for clicking on my video, y'all. Share me up. I'm not a secret. Tell your friends to come see me. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come see Miss True Red Ball. Love, peace, and hair grease. Talk to y'all soon.